Hello everybody, this is Dave Shopius. Um, I just upgraded my brain. Well, not my brain. Uh, the brain for my B9 robot from Lost in Space. Uh, if you uh, have seen any of my other videos, one of them, um, I had uh, shown a brain tour where I had um, my control mechanism, my control board, was sitting right in, actually sitting right up in here. And uh, it was a EZB version 3. It was it was nice. Uh, it was all Bluetooth uh, controlled, but then um, Easy Robot upgraded it to a version four, and uh, although the footprint was smaller, it was taller. If you know what I mean, um, it was it set higher, and I didn't have enough room in here to uh, to keep it, so I had to take out the uh, version three because uh, I had upgraded everything to version 4, which was Wi-Fi, with a whole lot of other neat advance advancements. <clears throat> so I had to do away with the, um, the the brain in my brain, if you know what I mean. My control board in the brain. And uh, I ran all the uh, control wires for all this stuff down through those two little holes down there. And uh, all the way down into the torso of my robot. Uh, to the Easy B version 4 that was sitting down in there. Um, basically, here's all the wiring I had at one time to operate this, this brain. In fact, that this was actually a lot longer. It went all the way down through the throat. Came up through the throat. This is just a stand, but just kind of um, get the idea. The throat would come up and come up in here and attach to all the different things. So um, now what, what has happened is Easy Robots has come out with a IO Tiny. And that's that little marvel right there. It is just like the Easy B, only better. It's the version 4 slash 2 um, Wi-Fi controller. And uh, uh, it's got a lot of other neat little improvements on it, but it's a lot smaller than the version for EZB, uh, which they still 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 sell um, in the slash two version now, which is the same as this, only bigger. So it's got more ports, uh, more um, EDC ports, and uh, I twelve ports. I think how you say it. But anyway, um, this doesn't have a UART port, but I'm I'm not going to go into all that. What I'm just trying to tell you now is that uh, because of the very small footprint of the I.O. Tiny, I'm able to uh, reincorporate the brain in my brain and uh, get rid of all this extra crap that was coming up through the throat of my robot and extra connections and all that stuff. So it's, uh, it's really kind of cool. Um, it sits in there nice, as you can see. Um, just to kind of give you an idea what I have in here, uh, if you haven't seen my other video, is this is the light control board right here that operates all the lights and the special effects of the lights. Um, this is a diode, I'm sorry, a transistor board I built to turn all the uh, spe light special effects on and off. Actually, there's just two of them. Um, that... Uh, operate up in the brain. This is a diode board right here that uh, gives the finger lights a nice random look as they blink on and off. You can see that. So, um, And basically up here is another transistor board that I, that I built that turns on the crown motor that uh, lifts the fingers up and down so now I have it uh, everything like I said all three of those functions the fast there's a fast light function that, that goes on really fast when the uh, robot is thinking I've got a kill function that turn off all the lights when I pull the power pack hang on a second my power pack animation um, and the third uh, thing it does is turn on and off my crown motor when I want those fingers to dance. So, um, just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like. It's, 
again, it's just three functions, but it uh, adds a lot to the look of the robot when this is going on. So this is the fast light function that I'm triggering an easy, ro easy robot's easy builder, and it's controlled by the IO Tiny. Okay, you can see how fast it came on. So that I, I can turn this on and off with scripts, and there it is, slow. Again, fast. And that also affects the finger lights. The eyes, the cat eyes, they stay on all the time, which is cool. Now when I pull the power pack, this is the effect they get. Kind of slowly dies. So that's very important because I don't want the brain to be dancing lights up there when the robot, the rest of the robot down below is dead. So it's all wirelessly controlled through Wi-Fi. And um, the um, easy bees and the torso will be doing the same thing. Uh, to the lights and all the equipment down there shuts them off it simulates it being dead and then coming on put the power pack, power pack back in and It comes up fast or slow <laughs> So there you go now the third thing it does uh, is um, the, Turn the crown motor on and off And you can see it spinning now Or stop. Ignore that squeak. <laughs> Gotta fix that. So, and you can see the the finger motor is now dancing. Uh, and I like that. There's there's a cam. That's the cam right there that spins around. You can't see them right now, but there's little push pins under there. See the wavy the wavy bottom as it goes around. It pushes those. Uh, push pins up and down and then pushes the, the figure light so that's about it so I just kind of wanted to show you that um, kind of cool and it's all because of the IO tiny there so still playing all right um, one of my last uh, upgrades I have to do to the robot before I get them 100% functional. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos as I finish up this fantastic build of my lifetime. I've been really enjoying it. Thanks. Bye-bye.